Hey, what's going on? John Shea here. I just thought I'd make this off the cuff uh, video here for my YouTube channel. I haven't been as active on YouTube as of lately. I had actually spent uh, quite a bit of time when I was still working my full time job on my commute in, you know, back and forth coming into work. I was actually recording, um, you know, I had this like cell phone mount and I would put this up in my dash and I would just record myself driving into work. Um, really just like off the cuff videos, um, not super great quality. I wasn't really wearing anything like really nice. I didn't have my hair done, anything like that, you know, like just really didn't put a whole lot of time into it. So I thought I'd shoot this quick video because I've spent a lot of time ever since that I lost my job. Um, I was technically let go from my position. And part of the reason for that was because I had this huge entrepreneurial drive to just do something else. And I realized that over many, many years of time, you know, I wanted to share this with you guys today in this, uh, in this video. So I've realized many, many years over time is that, you know, people put a real big perception on how you dress and how you appear in videos and um, just in regular like daily life. You know, if I come into a business meeting and I'm dressed like this, you know, my hair is nice. I've drilled it. I just got a haircut. I'm wearing a really nice shirt, you know, a nice sport jacket, um, really nice shoes. You know, people are going to perceive me that I'm successful, that you know, he's someone to kind of keep an eye out for. But if I walk into a meeting and I'm actually dressed in you know, like this band t-shirt, I've got like skulls and, um, you know, my hair's a mess. I don't look like, you know, I spent any time, uh, looking at myself in the mirror in the morning. I didn't shave, you know, any of this stuff, like it just really, um, it will show. And I was recently reading this article where, um, very popular blogger and online marketer, his name's Neil Patel. If you don't know him, go look him up. There was an article on Forbes. Uh, if I can find the article, I'll actually link it below the video, but there was a story he told where, he went to this meeting and he actually um, showed up. He was 22 years old. He showed up in like a Toyota RAV4 or something, a you know four by four, just this old beat up um, Toyota truck. And he was wearing jeans, just really casual sneakers, and like some nerd T-shirt, you know, like a gaming shirt or something. And he actually approached a business owner that needed some help with his business. And he ended up quoting him and telling him, "Yeah, I can fix your problems and I can help you be more successful and make more money." And I'm going to, uh, his quote was $190,000 to do that work. And the guy basically said immediately, how can I take you seriously? Look how you're dressed. You just roll up here in this four by four Toyota. And you know, you're here asking me to, to pay you, you know, nearly $200,000 and the flat out, the guy was no, you know, his answer was no. So one thing I noticed, and, um, you know, this has happened to me in a couple, uh, scenarios working past jobs. I actually worked for this company. Um, called TomTom. Tom. They offer GPS systems. I used to work doing shipping and receiving. And I remember I tried to like move up within the company. I originally had wanted this job working in support. You know, most of those guys made around $30,000 a year, which is nothing to go riding home over. But at the same time, in my case, I was making around, I think, 23000 or uh, a little around 20000 It wasn't that much. It was like $12 an hour if you kind of wage it out into an hourly rate. But I wasn't making all that much money. And I remember I would go in every day and I would wear these band t-shirts and, you know, people sort of perceived me like I was a little kid and that's exactly how they treated me. And I even went on to work another job in tech support. I actually ended up getting a job in tech support for another company. And I kind of continued to do the same thing. I just didn't really care. You know, I would go in and wear whatever I wanted, even though there was a, a business casual dress code, I would just wear like band t-shirts, hoodies. I really, I didn't, I didn't give a shit to be honest. I just really didn't. And I even remember reading something about how Mark Zuckerberg had gone to some meeting where he wore like a hoodie and pissed off all these business executives and just people couldn't take him seriously as a, as a kind of a leader, so to speak. So I always had that in my mind, like, you know, hey, I don't, I don't need to go out there and dress really nice. I can kind of be like a Mark Zuckerberg, but, you know, I'm not Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. But anyway, I, I decided to just kind of keep rolling with this whole, like, I'm just going to slack off and do this. And, you know, I decided not to not to dress real nice. And I remember... There was a guy who got hired really, literally around the same time as me. Um, there was a point where I had actually left the company and came back. But regardless, this guy, I remember um, all of a sudden he just started dressing like really nice. Every day he would come into work and he was wearing dress shoes and dress pants and really nice collared shirts and just very professional. Um, every single day, you know, he did this. And I noticed it and he actually ended up moving up through the company. He got um, like multiple um, increases in positions. They didn't, they didn't really like give raises for specific positions. It was kind of like you had to move up to other positions within the company. So he ended up moving up through all these other positions. And I remember thinking to myself, like, 
man, he just really perceived himself. You know, people probably perceived him like he really wanted to have success and really wanted to do quite well. So, of course, you know, I, I still kind of ignored it at the time. I just didn't really care. You know, I, I would go to work and whatever. And, uh, you know, I got into this whole internet marketing thing about six years ago. And again, even recording my videos, I started doing online courses about three years ago. And I actually have one of my most successful courses. I don't know that it necessarily hurts sales or anything like that. But I have a video where I'm actually in my bedroom. Um, it's the same room right now. I'm in the same room and I've got a little cat tree in the back and my cat's hanging out in the background and I'm wearing my hoodie, uh, my band hoodie. It's like gray, you know, not really the most appealing thing. My hair is just a mess. I'm just sitting there talking in front of the webcam and here you got my cat playing in the background. I mean, you literally couldn't have had a much more unprofessional setup. So I basically decided to continue keep doing my courses and I did it like this for years. I made tons and tons of online courses and every time I would create content that was me talking like this in front of a camera, I would actually continue to just record and over time, you know, I started maybe dressing a little nicer, like I'd wear a collared shirt instead of a band shirt, but it still really didn't look that great. Like the production quality of it wasn't superb. It wasn't amazing. You know, it was just kind of whatever. I didn't do anything with lighting. I even remember seeing a comment from someone where um, I ended up doing a promotional video with the same kind of setup and it was me wearing a t-shirt. And someone sent me a message and they literally said to me, I did not buy your course because of the way you were dressed. And I just couldn't believe it. Like it was finally like really hitting me that all these things that I'd done, you know, here I am kind of learning about this over years and years of time and seeing all these other people have success and um, people are, you know, having a different perception of other people because of how they dress. And I even ended up eventually deciding that, okay, you know, I'm going to start moving my courses into some of these other platforms. And I recently had this experience where I took that very same course, the very same one that the guy told me, Hey, I'm not going to buy your course because of how you're dressed in the promotional video. So I realized, I said, why not um, take the time to put this same course on this new platform? It's called amazing.com. So anyway, I put the whole course up there and they actually approved it, but they came back and they started telling me that, they wouldn't approve any new courses. They really like the content so much that they decided to keep it. But any new courses that I submitted, they said, we really want you to be dressed really nice and um, have a professional demeanor. So I said, okay, that's fine. And I decided to put a lot of time and effort into this setup. I went out and bought this green screen that you can see I'm using behind me. I've got this cool black background. I went out and I bought lights. I went out and I bought this sport jacket. Today, I just went and got an awesome haircut. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's called the Ivy League haircut. If you feel like looking it up, I, there's tons of celebrities who apparently support this kind of style, I guess. So I don't have my video 100% perfect, you know, at this point. I'm basically kind of like riding off this, um, you know, the lighting that I was able to set up and um, sort of doing this on not necessarily a budget, but really just trying to build something that was very simple. And I didn't want to have like tons of bulky lights set up in this small room that I'm utilizing my green screen and my webcam and my office in. So I guess the whole point of this video was that, you know, if you're someone out there that, you know, you're going to put any time into videos, you know, I, I can't even think now, like now that I've taken the time to actually put effort into how I'm dressing in my videos, um, have a really nice haircut, do all these things to really spruce things up and just get to a point where I feel really confident in myself to go out there and create a, a video that I feel like people are going to look at this guy and go, wow, he's successful. Whereas years ago, people would look at me and go, he's kind of like a little kid, you know, and they don't take me very seriously. So I want for those of you who are watching this video, if you got this far, um, you know, take the time to really put some effort into your setup. I'm going to leave a link below and you can actually get um, a course of mine on how to go set up a green screen. It's a three part course. Check out those links and feel free to subscribe here on YouTube. And I'd be happy to help you out with any questions you have about my setup. I cover pretty much everything in that green screen tutorial. And the only other thing I could recommend is, you know, take your girlfriend or um, whoever it is, your wife, your brother, your mother, whoever you want, take them out to a store with you and have them pick out some clothes that look really nice. You know, all I really had to do is buy a couple shirts and this sport jacket. It was like $200, maybe $300. You know, I didn't have to go super crazy to make something that was going to look nice. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope this has given you some uh, real lesson here that's uh, kind of hurt me over the years of not taking a dress code very seriously. You know, it's hurt me in terms of uh, not being able to make money or getting rejected when I put so much time and effort into some of my video content.